In this video, I want to share with you how to use isoldmyhouse.com to help you save money on agent fees and to sell your house pretty quickly. Depending on when you're watching this, I know right now in the market, it's a buyer's market and there's a lot of opportunity where people can sell their home very quickly. So I want to show you a resource that I've used in my real estate business and I've shared it with my own clients to help them sell their deals even faster and save a bunch of money in the process. It's really simple. So what I'm going to do is just actually show you a pretty recent live review of a property that we just recently sold. I wanted to give you like it real and raw right here. So the first thing you want to do is go to isoldmyhouse.com. By the way, all the links are in the description. Go to isoldmyhouse.com and as you get here, you can see they have a very clean website and you can go right away and click how it works just in case you're wondering and how this process all comes together because some people think you need an agent to list your house and you actually really don't. So here's what it comes with. A professional flat fee MLS listing. It'll be posted on indexing sites like Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, and many more. I'll show you more of those in just a second. Also, you get a for sale by owner listing right on isoldmyhouse.com. So you have your own designated listing. There is no listing commissions. Uh, the buyer leads get forwarded right to you and you can cancel at any time. Let me show you what the MLS and indexing sites look like. Right here is a perfect example. With your first listing at isoldmyhouse.com, that's the first place your property will be listed. And then a few days later, after you submit the, the, uh, the submission, it will then get dispersed everywhere, like all these other websites, from Redfin to EXP to Trulia to Coldwell Banker to Remax to Zillow, I mean, so on and so forth. It goes everywhere, as you can see. And it happens just a few days after uh, it gets your listing gets posted on isoldmyhouse.com. Gonna give it a little time for the internets to work. <laughs> but they'll notify you every step of the way. That's a great thing about uh, I Sold My House uh, team is they really update you and walk you through the steps uh, to make it happen. They also have great uh, FAQs here on you know which plan you should buy or um, any questions you have about selling your home and how to complete your listing. So the first thing you're going to do is purchase a listing plan. That's what you really have to do. And it's basically broken down into two levels. Get listed plan at $299, which has less photos, and the get sold at $399, which has more photos. Now, I personally recommend the get sold. I mean, it's really $100 more. It's $400. Bucks. I mean, that's a lot more than agent commission fees can be, okay? So I'd recommend you that because you can add more photos and you get more um, listing there. Now, there is a whole bunch of other things here in regards to questions such as, are there any hidden charges? Uh, there is not. Some states, you know, have different fees that are involved. So you have a low teaser at 99, but then there's so many hidden charges. Here, there is no, uh, uh, there's no upfront uh, pricing. It's simple and transparent. It's very simple. Uh, can you cancel your listing? Yes, and there's no additional cost for doing that. Um, how many photos can you add to the MLS listing? So here is what I was talking about earlier. On the cheaper plan, only six to 10 photos. On the get sold plan, 25 photos. And I would recommend going with that one, okay? Next, do you need a private lockbox? Um, do you need to provide a lockbox? Uh, if you don't have a lockbox or you don't uh, wanna go get one at your local uh, you know, local shop, maybe your own home store, then they can provide you one. You could, they could buy one right from uh, isoldmyhouse.com. They also provide yard signs. If for an additional fee, they can also get you pretty much a customized yard sign. As you can see, I'll have the logo and a phone number and everything will be there. So you can do that too. Um, I will tell you this, I did not have a lockbox and I did not have one of their signs. You don't have to use one of their signs. You can actually use your own sign if you wanted to, like right from the local hardware store. Uh, how long will your listing last on the MLS? So your listing will last up to six months, okay? And you can get more detail on that based on the state. Uh, and then they operate in services in all 50 states, okay? So what you're gonna do first is submit your properties in, uh, information, submit your photos, uh, choose the buyer's agent commission to offer and sign the listing agreement, okay? Now, here's the thing. I want to make something clear. You may not have a buyer's agent commission. So here's the opportunity with this is you don't have to pay any seller commissions, okay? That's the first thing. You don't have to pay any seller commissions uh, with using your site. However, if the 
buyer has a agent, then you would have to um, you would have to pay that or make an offer to pay that. So that's actually negotiable. You can actually select the rate you want inside of when you when you place your order and you sign up for I sold my house. You can actually decide what that's going to be. However, for example, in the recent property that I just did, uh, I didn't have to do that at all. I didn't have to pay any. It came right in from the, the marketing and they found the property and that was it. They actually went to one of the open houses. So it was, that was it. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. You can have your own open house. <laughs> then, then you sign your listing agreement. Boom, done. All right, there's a bunch of more FNQs down here and that will give you a bunch more knowledge and more in depth if you're looking for it. Um, but I do wanna just kind of jump into it with you and go over to the pricing and then show you a property, okay? A real life property. So here you go. Here's the differences right here. You can pick the state you're in. Let me pick uh, North Carolina. North Carolina, then you select the county that it's in. I'm gonna pick Cumberland for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick the big one. Like I said, there's the 399 and then there is the 299. Okay, 299, six months and 10 photos. And then the get sold is 12 months and a bunch of photos. <laughs> and I think it's like 40, <laughs> but it's it's a whole bunch. Okay, so that's, that's really good. And personally for 400 bucks, I'd recommend going with that one also. If you want your uh, listing featured on their site, okay, on the I sold my house, dot com's homepage, okay, because you gotta remember there's people looking online on these websites also. You can do that for a one month featured listing for $25. I actually didn't do that, just, just so you know. But that's an extra upsell if you wanted it. Also, uh, how many lock boxes? If you needed a lock box, you can add that in there. Like I told you, I didn't need a lock box, so I didn't use it. Then you enter your property information, price of the home, a few details and your credit card information. Now, by the way, if you're looking for some of this data, right? Some of the data that's here, like the price of your home, the listing date, right? If you're looking for some of that data and there's gonna be more data um, within, after you sign up, there's gonna be more data It's asking, such as square footage of the home, property age, exact bedrooms, bathrooms, all that stuff. Now, if you're not sure exactly what all those numbers are, you can easily go to realtor.com or zillow.com, any of the indexing sites, type in the address of the property and it will pull it up. If you're a more a savvy investor and maybe you're doing this uh, as a business, then you might wanna check out a software like PropStream. PropStream is a great uh, data house full of resources that is with a service fee for that. So depending on what you're using. All right, next, uh, all right, well, there's a little offer for leaving the page. <laughs> Recently just sold this property for about, I think, um, 10, 30, about 25,000 more, or 30,000 more than asking price. So here you see the property. So let me click this and show you what the property looks like so you can actually see a page of what it looks like here. So here's the open house that we just had, okay? Spacious Executive Ranch, eight heritage drive, okay, the address, the bedroom says it's for sale. You can, someone can contact right here. It can be shared on all social sites. And by the way, all the photos here, which I'll get to right in a second, features gallery. But this photo right here, this was taken from a mobile phone, right from an iPhone. Property information right here. So you're gonna wanna write something uh, about it. And one thing I would definitely recommend is that you write, open it up with directions and how far it is from local places, local community places, such as highways. Well, how close is the local cities to it, right? How long is the drive, the local high school, middle school, elementary? I would put all those things in your ad so that you can, so people can know like, okay, just how far is it away from these places? I would start that off right at the top so people are aware of, of what that's like, okay? So they can get a good mental picture of what that is. Then you can go into the description of the property, such as this is a spacious ranch that will surprise any guests, so on and so forth, okay? Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, it tells the square footage. Like I said, if you guys don't know what this information is exactly, you can easily go to an indexing site like realtor.com, type in the information, it should pull it up, okay? And then uh, you can add any of your features or amenities, gives you a place to put the pictures, and it throws up this really nice, beautiful slider. I think, you know, unfortunately, there's some sliders out there that are not that good. I hate Zillow slider. 
<laughs> just to just to share that, it's just uh, this one's a lot easier and it's very clean. These were actually all taken on an iPhone. However, normally when I'm selling properties like this, I do like to hire what's called a property a photography specialist, where they literally go out to the property and they take professional photos. Sometimes they'll edit them a little bit and then send it to you. Typically, it's about 40 to 50 photos, and the price can be anywhere from as low as $100 to as high as $300. So if you want someone to professionally do it, you can expect to pay around that price range. Uh, but that's typically what well, I would recommend it. However, um, I wanted to take a swing at it. And this is actually what happened. This property right here with, with their iPhone. And then I was already contacting other people to uh, professional photographers to get in there. Now, by the way, it's not just professional photographers, it's professional real estate photographers. Just wanna make that clear. Most of the time, these individuals just do real estate only, okay? They have a knack and a good eye for what to capture in real estate. However, they didn't get back to me right away after I reached out to them, so I just went with the iPhone photos and boom, it worked really, really well. All right, here is the you know the information that someone would submit because this is, like I said, this is a live listing as you can see. Okay, and here's just a look at where you would enter all the information, any editing that needs to be done. You can see here, it's a very simple and easy to do. Fill in the information, the property type, status, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's all just listed right here. This is where you would do all that information. Upload the pictures. There you go, you can add a video if you wanted to. If you wanted to take a video, you would just enter the URL there. We, we didn't do that this time. Then you can add in an open house. And that's something I want to draw your attention to. You can add multiple open houses if you wanted to. Um, we just had one open house and the property sold. So if you want to add another open house, you can. Um, that's really to your benefit. What I recommend for open houses is definitely do it on a weekend, either do it on a Saturday or on a Sunday, and make sure it's about a minimum of three hours. I think three hours gives you really enough time to capture uh, you know, the attention. Sometimes people show up late. Um, so I would recommend morning hours tend to work well as well as lunch. And just a little caveat, just to add something, you don't have to do this, but what I would recommend you do is have a little sheet there that you can take someone's name and phone number, okay? Name and phone number, and then also maybe you wanna leave out a few like maybe waters or drinks, juice or cookies or something like that just to maybe greet your guests. And okay, that's if you're going to be at your own open house. If you decide not to be at your own open house or not even have an open house, then I'd recommend you get a lockbox and put the lockbox and the key inside the lockbox and leave it on the door. And then um, what I'd recommend before you uh, with the lockbox, really important, I've, I've done this to many, many properties, um, is when someone is gonna go look at your property, before you give them the lockbox code, you're gonna ask them to send you a photocopy of their ID, okay? You're gonna have them send you a photocopy front and back of their photo of their driver's license or ID, passport, whatever they have available, you're going to want a photo identification, okay? And uh, that's really important because if there's any legal issues or something happens, missing, stolen, broken, then you have some identification to go off of. Does that make sense? Yeah, I highly recommend that. I've done that with hundreds of properties because I've done a lot of properties, not only showings, but also owner finance properties and had people do walkthroughs. So I'd highly recommend doing that. It's, it's really important. And then if you're there, like I said, you can have the opportunity to meet them, the potential buyers, and, uh, and hopefully show them around your property and, and, and get a sale out of it. Okay, and then after that, um, you, again, this is just the inside of everything you'd want to check off. You could update your listing there and all that good stuff. Here, here's the most important thing about all this is after you have someone who uh, wants to buy your property, you're probably thinking, well, what do I do next, Nathan? What happens after they say yes? Well, what I, I sold my house.com does not provide any legal advice or anything like that, and they do not help you close the deal. Um, they just help you market your property. After that, what I recommend you is get a real estate attorney or a title company, depending on which state you're in, and then you can have them facilitate the closing. Okay, you'd have them do all the documents and the contracts, the purchase and sale, have them hold escrow, have them open escrow and hold escrow so that you can have the, your buyer's deposit be held at the in escrow with either your attorney or your title company. All right, if you have any questions about this or if this was a helpful review for you or you're considering it, give this video a like so that I know. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll see if I can help you out and get you answered. All right, take care, have a great day.